And we're rolling. Um, hi girls, gays, and theys. This is me, Janice Lee, and I'm back after like six months. Sorry if I went a little MIA. Um, it's just that I don't have any storage, which is fine. You know, I wanted to try something new, so I'm gonna do a little video podcast. Just talk about what's on my mind. You know, um, and if it goes well, if you guys want to see more podcasts with other people, then I'll definitely do some more if I can. Um, this is going to be totally unedited because it's a podcast. Why do you need to edit a podcast? You know, I have no guests today. Um, let's talk about the first thing that came to mind. Actually, I might have to edit this podcast a little because demonetization and copyright things might happen so I might have to cut those out uh let's talk about the first thing that's coming into mind uh I got fully vaxxed get vaccinated kids get vaccinated moms and grandparents and baby can babies get vaccinated I don't think so but get vaccinated as soon as you can really just pumping up the game right now my arm's still a little sore you know yesterday when I like the day after I got it it was really bad like I, ca- I kind of had to like not do anything because it hurt really bad my whole body was just ah. you know anyway second thing I want to talk about is Elliot Page okay so um Elliot Page he's an amazing person he's a great actor you know and I'm very proud of him for coming out congratulations to Elliot and everyone else but there's just a problem about all the transphobes in his comment sections and it's like really annoying me I love how people are really funny someone mentioned me and said you think those abs are real I believe so because we have opinions right and you know what opinions it really Opinions are just what people have, and we all have them. Like, I don't know, I can't think of an opinion right now, but, you know. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. What if I, like, did some cool little fady-waity kind of movie? Nah. No, we're gonna stick back to red. Because red is, like, really cool. Um, what other things that I want to talk about? Elliot Page is just amazing actor. I loved him in uh, Umbrella Academy. Right when the second season came out, like, last summer, I binge-watched the whole thing in one day. It was great. The editing's amazing. I'm really excited for the third season. I'm like, woo! Yeah! You know? But, like, honestly, I'm glad that Elliot is just doing his thing. You know? Not really focusing on the bunch of transpho- transphobes in the comments. Because that's what people are these days. They're just very opinionative. Is that the word? Yeah. And like, it's just crazy. The world is just a little sensitive, which I don't mind. You know, sensitive people do exist. Me, not like opinionated up. Opinion, opi- What's that word? You guys know what I mean. Not like opinion to 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 with. I can't speak English. Like I'm not really sensitive when it comes to opinions, but like, you know what I mean. Like, feeling wise, opinions. Um. But yeah. Just overall, Elliot's a great person. He looks fantastic. He looks very handsome. Her. (sighs) Honestly, I'm really proud of him. He's doing great. I'm just repeating all the words I said before, thinking that I did not say them. So that's fine. Um, I like to introduce the guest that I told you that wasn't coming because I said there will be no guests. But there is going to be one. 
this fat juicy pimple on my nose okay acne is just something really normal it's like practically normalized now I think but you know people are supposed to care about it don't point out people's acne and no not unless just don't just don't do that yeah Acne is 100% normal if you have a little pimple the day before. 100% normal. We we'll all we'll get acne. You know? Um, but if you want to help with that, uh, I'm not skincare by Hiram, so don't come to me. Might want to ask Summer 2020 Janice, because she's a heavy core skincare by Hiram fan. But right now I'm a heavy core um, banana fish money skin fan. Speaking of banana fish, you know, that show is honestly one of the greatest animes I've ever seen and probably like the only anime I'll ever see because I don't like watching new shows. They bore me a lot when I watch new ones. I'm like, uh, I don't want to watch a new ones, so I just stick with the same like five shows that I watch. Let's name all five. Okay, actually I lied. I did start watching a new show because a few of my friends said, th said they were good and it looked really interesting because the director is also the same one as The Office, I think. So I'm like, okay, per. I guess I'll watch it because I know it's going to be really funny. Okay, so a show I just started like a few days ago is Superstore. I'm on the fourth season. Really good. I love it. The Office. Amazing. Watched it like maybe six times. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, really good. Kind of sad that the show's gonna come to an end, but it was a great run. Umbrella Academy. Banana Fish. Modern Family. And yet, what is that? Oh, it's an old McDonald's. God, don't. Anyways, yeah. Those, those shows are really great, but if you want good movies, which I barely watch, I barely watch any movies. I'll just name my favorite ones from the top of my head right now, and if I mention some later, ignore that. Okay, so some movies I love is um, the beautiful, amazing musical Mamma Mia, the one with the men, Seyfried, and Meryl Streep. Not like the original one. I haven't watched the original one yet, but you know. Uh, Corpse Bride. I love that movie. I watch it every Halloween. Great movie. Um, another Cinderella story. The one starring with uh, Selena Gomez and, you know, Selena Gomez. I've always loved that movie. Great hit. Um, Whisper of the Heart. That's a great Studio Ghibli movie. It's anime. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Where's my water? Like, where did it go? Uh. You know, it's really disgusting. The fact that I haven't washed that water bottle in a few weeks. It's really nasty. I should wash it. Wash it. Let's just talk about some topics. Let's see what the first thing comes up on my Explore page on Instagram. Because that's interesting, right? Okay, the first thing that came up is a little crochet crop top. It's a crochet crop top. Let's just talk about crocheting. You know what? Might as well, like, type down the topics I'm talking about for the title of this podcast. You know? Because, you know, it's, it's interesting. Meh. Uh, we, we, we talked about Elliot Page. Um. Movies and, yeah, movies and TV shows. And now crocheting. Crocheting is, like, a really fun thing to do. You know, if you, like, ever thought about starting crocheting you should except I haven't crocheted in a long time but I got muscle memory I know I still know 
Don't worry, y'all. But yeah, if you're ever thinking like, oh, should I start crocheting? You should. This is your sign. The universe is telling you. And I am too. Start crocheting. You know, I just thought of another topic, so I'm going to write that down. Um, these kids keep screaming. For the love of God, speaking of kids, that just went on to my next topic. Babysitting. So, I'm babysitting these kids. Um, I don't want to name any names. Um, but they're really cool. I like the older one. He's nine. The younger one's um, turning six in a few days, which is awesome. Happy early birthday. But, like, I don't know. I love, I like hanging out with them. Sometimes it can be a little annoying. But, you know, that's the part of life. Um, if you're ever looking for a little summer job, just do some babysitting some good bank out of it except I splurged and wasted some of the money on my it's my money I can do whatever I want with it okay calm down like kids they can sometimes be annoying but if you find like really good kids they can be awesome you know and their dad is beyond amazing. He feels like a second that this is not a venting podcast. But honestly, yeah, this should be a venting podcast. Um their dad feels like a second dad to me. Like the dad I've always wanted but never had. My dad's fully alive. He's doing good, but we don't talk about that. Anyways, moving on. Uh Let's just talk about, um, today, or technically yesterday when you're seeing this. I just felt the whole house shake at that moment. What was I talking about? Uh, yeah, so technically yesterday when I'm watching this, Snapchat literally was on crack and like the app just stopped working and I started like I didn't freak out but I just started getting really angry because I thought it was um this phone like not working because I'm in storage blah 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 and I can't do anything about it because this isn't even my phone this is temporarily my phone but it's my mom's old one and I can't do anything about the storage because 99.99% of the storage is just photos and videos. I will be honest. And it's like really annoying. I always get that notification that says, iPhone storage full, free up storage. Like shut up, please. Like yeah, I get it, I have no storage. I can't do anything about it, Apple. Sorry. And, um, yeah, Snapchat like just like went MIA out of nowhere, just stopped working. And I started getting really angry, so I texted like five people, I was like, is your snap working? And they were like, no. And I was so relieved, I thought it was just me, and I was like, okay, thank God. You know, but like, I was still really angry about it. And before anyone texted back, I took my mom's old phone, like her other old phone, and tried to download Snapchat, and that didn't even work. Even though that phone has like 200 gigabytes. It's crazy. Yeah. And I thought it was my Wi Fi, so I restarted my phone like five times. I downloaded the app, nothing worked. And it started working fine. Like half an hour later, and I was like, okay, thank God. <gasps> yeah, but that was really dumb Snapchat. Like, what kind of crap were they on? I don't know, but it was interesting. Also, there's like my new little phone case setup. It's really cute. It has this little pop socket. 
like gold flakes on it. It's really cute. And this little butterfly rose case. Both of these are from Winners. I am a Winners OG. I'm like most of the things in this room, probably like 80% of this room is from Winners. Probably 10% of it is from like Sheen and the other 10% is from like other places like Walmart or Walmart. I don't know. But Winners was like one of the greatest stores of all time. If you find like really good stuff then it is but they've been lacking recently and I'm kind of sad about it but you know that's fine. I was a Sears girl. You guys remember when Sears existed? Sears existed. I miss Sears so much. When I was driving home from babysitting, um, I always drive past Sears. And the number still up, so I tried calling it one time, and it's like, sorry, this number is out of, was like unavailable, and I got really sad, and I almost cried. Cause my mom used to work at Sears, and it was so fun. Like I'd go there sometimes. I was a Sears girl. Most of the things I wore were from Sears. And then winners happened. Winners hit me like a bus. My mom doesn't work at Winners though. She works at Western Pizza. Free food. No, I'm just kidding. Not free food. You just get discounts if you work there. Whose dog is barking? Damn. Um, I haven't been able to see anyone this whole summer except for the kids I'm babysitting. Which is really sad, you know, but that's okay. You know, just do my thing. And it's like, the summer's like really boring, but it's definitely better than last summer and the summer before and the summers before that. Because the summers before this one, God, it was so boring. I had nothing to do. No one wanted to hang out with me. I couldn't even hang out with anyone. Not because of COVID. My mom's just really strict. Yo. Sorry, I had a yawn, but I didn't want to yawn in front of the camera because that would be, you know. But yeah. I still don't know what to name this podcast. I'll probably figure it out by the time I upload this and title it. Elliot Page Hey Crocheting Babysitting. Whatever I have in this thing. You know. But this is like a little TED Talk, a little podcast. Kind of fun. I'm not sure if I want to do this full time, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next six months. No, I'm just playing. I'll see you guys soon. Maybe next week? Maybe the week after? Maybe next month? Who knows? Who will ever know? But yeah. See you guys in a long time. Uh... <laughs>